uh, R. Kelly should be out right now. As I mentioned in my post, the guy who I see on TV all the time. Vinny, what are you on? You're on Nightly? What are you on? You're on Nightly? How, how often are you on TV these days? A couple times a week. Wow. Okay. And so we see Vinny on all the big shows, national news. Um, Vinny, how long have you been a criminal lawyer? Nearly 20 years. Nice. And where are you practicing mostly? Federal court, state court? Uh, the majority of the work, about 70% is federal and uh, all over the country. And then the other 30% is in New York state courts. Okay. So the two cases I want to talk to you about, Vinu, first, we're going to start with the R. Kelly case. You had some really interesting stuff to tell me on that. I can't wait to share that with everyone online. And then we're going to get into the Takashi 6 9 case. Sure. Let's start with the R. Kelly case. You were telling me that R. Kelly should be out right now because he got his bond set, but he's not out. He's still sitting in jail. What's going on? Yeah. the Initially, the judge had set a no bond warrant for him, which I – thought was crazy because he's previously, he surrendered himself, he's went to trial previously and he beat it, so he has all the incentives to come back. Yesterday in court, they had the bond hearing yesterday morning and the judge set a million dollars bond, which means in Chicago they had to put, put $10,000, I'm sorry, $100,000 down and he's unable to raise that. As lawyer, R. Kelly couldn't come up with $100,000 to bond out of prison? Crazy. He's sitting in jail Damn. right now. So his lawyer, his lawyer said that he doesn't have any money and that it's going to be um, – that's the problem. I mean, why he doesn't have any money, that's – you know, we'll say. So. Who's his lawyer? Is his lawyer even – is he being represented by the public defender's office? What's going no, on? No, no, he's got a private lawyer. I think it's the guy who had represented him before. Uh, but, you know, it's um, – it's, you know, they should have been ready for this because once that documentary hit, you knew this was coming. The DA went out, the uh, state's attorney in Chicago went out and was like, come forward, anybody, anybody, anybody's got anything on R. Kelly. And all of a sudden, you have this very quick indictment. And, you know, that, if I were his lawyer representing him, I'd be excited by this because I'm going to say this is a manufactured proposition, uh, prosecution. They, they wanted to get R. Kelly. R. Kelly's a bad guy. They're going after him and, you know, all these women coming forward. Where were they 10, 15 years ago when these cases, when these crimes are supposed to have occurred? So it sounds like R. Kelly uh, has a good chance to defend the case, but he might be too broke to actually defend that, the case. That's right. That's right. When I was commenting, I commented the other night on CBS about it. I, I, I assumed he had resources. I was shocked yesterday when I found out that he's sitting in jail. Damn. And uh, another angle that you were telling me about on that case, I thought it was really interesting. There's this other lawyer.